On July 1, 2022, the most recent in a slew of new gun laws took effect in Tennessee, SB 2628. This legislation is the latest in many laws in the volunteer state that reinforce the rights of its citizens to bear arms. It shouldn't be hard for law-abiding Tennesseans to exercise their Second Amendment right, said Governor Bill Lee while speaking on the legislation. In this video, we'll cover important Tennessee gun laws that are important to responsible gun ownership, including SB 2628, HB 786, and SB 921, all of which relate to owning a short-barreled rifle, getting a suppressor in Tennessee, and the right to constitutional carry your firearm. SB 2628. Are short-barreled rifles legal in Tennessee? Tennessee Governor Bill Lee signed SB 2628 in 2022, which removed short-barreled rifles, SBRs, and shotguns from the state's restricted weapons list. However, SBR remains regulated under the National Firearms Act, or NFA. Because the NFA is administered by the ATF, you may be wondering if you need a tax stamp for an SBR in Tennessee. The answer is yes, SBRs and SBSs are still subject to rules and regulations of the NFA. Therefore, a tax stamp is required. While the Tennessee SBR laws say they're no longer restricted in Tennessee, and state law enforcement agencies will not be specifically policing Tennessee SBR owners, federal agencies will continue to enforce NFA compliance, though. The ATF defines a short-barreled rifle as a firearm with a barrel length less than 16 inches. Also important to know, a short-barreled shotgun is defined as a shotgun with a barrel length of less than 18 inches. What is constitutional carry in Tennessee? Tennessee gun owners were affirmed of the right to carry a firearm with the passage of House Bill 786 on April 12, 2021. This bill allows Tennessee residents 21 years or older, or 18 or older for certain military members, to conceal carry or open carry a handgun in the state of Tennessee without the requirement of a state-issued gun license. Taking effect on July 1, 2021, Speaker Cameron Sexton applauded the bill. This legislation ensues that law-abiding citizens have a constitutional right to carry their handgun. Prior to this bill, to carry a pistol, gun owners in Tennessee were subjected to special training and licensing. Looking to the future, another pro-2A law in the discussion, House Bill 2524, entitled True Constitutional Carry, which would expand the firearm carry laws to include rifles and shotguns. This law will be further discussed by the state legislature in late 2022. Are suppressors legal in Tennessee? The ATF has federal jurisdiction in Tennessee, and suppressors are regulated under the NFA within the state. Similar to their approach with SBRs, the legislature in Tennessee removed state restrictions on suppressors with SB 921, the Tennessee Hearing Protection Act, signed by Governor Bill Haslam, effective July 1, 2017. Within that doctrine, it stipulated that suppressors are legal for many purposes, including target shooting and hunting. However, violation of federally regulated NFA is a felony, with a penalty up to 10 years in prison and up to a $250,000 fine and forfeiture of all firearms. While SB 921 is a positive for Tennesseans' accessibility to suppressors, the Form 4 process for a tax stamp is still required in that state, as it's very important for gun owners to be ATF compliant with federal law. In conclusion, in recent years, bills such as SB 2628 and House Bill 786 have reinforced Tennesseans' right to bear arms. And as of making of this video, more than half of Tennessean residents own a firearm. Permitless carry enshrined the right to bear arms for Tennesseans and removed restricted government licensing. With SB 2628 and House Bill 786, it led many residents of the state to wonder if NFA items are legal in Tennessee. They are. SBRs, SBSs, and silencers are all legal under Tennessee state law, but are still under the oversight of the ATF. The people of Tennessee appreciate these reforms as well. Tennessee gun ownership saw a large uptick since 2020, likely in part to the Tennessee lawmakers doing a great job of repealing restrictive policies and protecting the Second Amendment in their state. So that wraps up our video. We hope you found this video helpful, and if so, please give it a huge thumbs up as we always appreciate that. Also, feel free to leave a comment, give any suggestions for future videos, or ask any questions you may have. We love getting to respond to as many of those as we can. And if you subscribe to the channel, welcome to the All About Survival family. We've got lots more videos coming your way. Till then, stay safe, stay awesome, and I'll see you on the next video.